The family woke up early that Sunday morning, as we wanted to spend as much time with our oldest son as we could. He had taken a job in San Diego, and this was finally the day that he was getting ready to leave. This wasn't just any job, as Keith, along with his best friend, had decided to enlist in the United States Marine Corps. He was headed for boot camp that day for 13 long weeks. I took him down to Staff Sergeant Grove's office knowing the next time I saw him that he would be a man and would have earned the title U.S. Marine. Finally the day had come. Ninety long days. Ninety long days for the family. Probably felt like 180 long days for Keith. But we were going to see him that day. As we waited to see Keith, I took time to reflect on my time at the recruit depot. Not much had changed. The grounds were still pristine. The barracks still looked the same. The parade deck was as big as I remember it. Then there were the drill instructors, men who go from zero to 60 in the blink of an eye and bring you along for the ride, a man who once you feared but have learned to respect. Off in the distance we heard the sound of cadence being sung. As the men of Company I drew closer and closer, there he was. Keith was carrying the company guide on, leading his company on their five-mile motivation run. I guess five miles would make anyone sweat, and Keith was no exception. Yet there he stood with all the bearing and discipline that one would come to expect from a United States Marine. We had the opportunity to spend the rest of the afternoon with our new Marine. We walked around base, compared stories, and took in the Marine History Museum. And of course, we had plenty of time for family picture or two. We were very proud of Keith, and I could tell by looking at him how much pride he had in himself. At the end of the day, we said our goodbyes, as tomorrow would be the long-awaited graduation ceremony. This was it, the day that we had all been looking forward to since that early April morning, the day he would finally pin on that Eagle Globe and anchor and earn the title United States Marine. His bags were packed, and I knew he was ready to get off of that recruit depot. As the Marines of Platoon 3201 were awaiting dismissal, I couldn't help but reflect how hard he had worked and how far he had come. This was his day. All the blood, sweat, and tears from recruit training regiment was now behind him, and it was time for him to go out and serve his country. So to Keith and his fellow Marines, I say Semper Fidelis. And to all those who have served or are serving, a big thank you from the Cat family.